Howdy, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. How do you pronounce it? Atlanta? Atlanta. And uh, we're here with, uh, uh, what's your name? Suki. Uh, do you know where we are uh, around? What do you mean? Like, well, I guess, uh, the city? yeah, Earth Fair. Yeah, we're outside a grocery shop and also near the main campus of the CDC and Emory University. Right. It was really interesting, although I still have a lot of questions. But anyways, uh, what brings you to uh, this place? I park here every day to go to school <laughs> because I don't have a parking pass. Oh, how much are they? Uh, $600 for two semesters, so 300 bucks a semester approximately. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, so um, uh, what's your major? I am studying public health in a master's program. And uh, where do you see yourself in like five years? In five years? Ooh, I'll be 30 or almost 31. Um, I want to be in a successful career where I am making a substantial impact on underserved communities to achieve health equity in particular communities. So, you know, like let's say a community is not receiving the mental health care they need or isn't getting the vaccinations that they want to need. I want to play a role in providing that for the people. Nice. And what about like marriage and stuff? Have you thought of that about that? I have thought of that. Um, I am with the with my boyfriend, and we would like to get married, but we already act like it. So, I mean, we'll have to look at the logistics of like how getting that paper or making it official will have and what kind of impact it'll have on our lives. And also, uh, I want to adopt children. Yeah. Why adopt? Because there are children, including infants, toddlers, and kids of all different ages who do not have the resources that they need. And some parents are adopting out their children, um, many mothers including, because they, their lives are complicated in various ways and they're already pregnant and they want a better life for their children and I want to play a role in that. Um, so, kind of a personal question, but uh, you could have children. Yes. Okay. Presumably. <laughs> yeah, I guess you've never tried, I guess. Well, God, okay, anyways. So, um, what, what country would you look to um, adopt in? Um, like, hypothetically. If I were to stay in the U.S., I would look here. Uh, what other countries would you travel to? For adoption? Or for, like, living, I guess, if you were to, like, not stay in the, uni the U.S.? I've thought about that recently, actually. Uh, I'm thinking about going to Indonesia and or Australia to do more public health work in the future. Have you been to Australia before? I have not. Uh, w why Australia, then? Uh, I have a connect there who does research on a topic that I'm really interested in. And what topic is that? Uh, he does research on the m mental health of indigenous and aboriginal people who are who are or have been incarcerated. Oh. Well, I guess the whole island was, an, uh, was a jail at one point. Uh, poetic just in a, I don't know. Uh, so Indonesia, uh, wh why Indonesia? I lived in Malaysia growing up and... Are you from there? I am not. I am from the country of Burma, but I lived in Malaysia for two years and the Indonesia and Malaysia are not the same, but there are many similarities and I'm interested in how I could fit in there as a professional and as a woman, a person. And um, let's see here. So um, what, what field of, so mostly mental health? Is that your uh, major? Uh, what was your major again? My major in college was psychology, but mental health plays out in everything, um, and it's a great part of public health. So if we think about medical health, like mental health is not separate from it. Mental and physical health are just two sides of the same coin. So, And there is a major gap in uh, mental health care and treatment and how we treat it, how we talk to people and stigma. So, Do you think things are improving or getting worse in terms of uh, mental health? Ooh, that's specific to context. So in some contexts, they are improving. Like um, millennials are talking more openly about our mental health and, you know, like I experience anxiety and that doesn't make me a weak person, doesn't make me inferior, that sort of thing. And just in terms of that, we are improving. But in terms of healthcare in the United States, um, it is 
getting worse for some people because they're not getting the care that they have a right to as a person. Okay. And um, so uh, what's the biggest stress right now in your life? School. Making sure that I am producing the work that is expected of me and producing it, um, like producing quality work. Um, do you think, when, when do you estimate that this guy is going to propose? If you had to guess. Actually, we've talked about that, and I told him that I wanted to be a mutual proposal, not like the typical image of a man getting down on his knees and proposing, but rather like we would have a conversation about it. Like That doesn't sound romantic, though. That's fine. But yeah, I'm not here to fit stereotypes of romance. I see. That's you good. know? Yeah. Um, so I, I, one impression as an outsider, I noticed that one thing that I did not expect, uh, there's a lot of um, like people from India here, like just walking around and stuff. I guess they value education and uh, you know medical stuff, and I guess there's a lot of medical stuff here. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I actually have some Indian in me, so like culturally speaking, it's also like, yeah, I guess as a culture, a lot of South Asians and Southeast Asians value sciences and medical sciences, not always mental health care, unfortunately. And also, um, a lot of the people who make it out of certain countries like India and like Burma tend to have money and tend to be educated. So that's probably why you see quite a bit of South Asians in this area. Have you read uh, The Chosen? I have not. Oh. Uh, well, I asked that question uh, to everybody. Have you, have you watched uh, Black Panther? I have. What, what did you think? Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, of, of what aspect exactly? Well, whatever. Just uh, any aspect. Uh, your favorite aspect of it. So one really important thing that I noticed about Black Panther is representation. Um, and how, you know, like different black communities are represented in media and just in pop culture. So you were happy about that? I am. Yeah. And what do you think of like fashions, stuff like that? In Black Panther? Uh, no, no, no. Just in real life. What do I think about fashion? Yeah. Um, do you have a more specific question uh, in that realm? <laughs> like, um, what are, okay, so like, um, how important is it in your life? It's fairly important. Um, uh, what, what purpose do you think it, uh, uh, what role does it play in your right. life? So looks do matter. People judge you by first impression. So depending on what I'm trying to achieve, I will present myself in a certain way. Like if I'm going to an interview, I will not be dressed like this. But because it's a typical day at school, I am dressed pretty relaxed. But Do you like that fit? Like, is it one of your top fits, or...? What I'm wearing today? Yeah. Yeah, this is a jacket that I love. It's comfortable. 